Welcome back to Sunrise. We're standing by for a news conference from the Queensland Premier. Anastasia Palaszczuk is going to face reporters in Brisbane this morning. We expect to hopefully hear from her shortly. In the meantime, we've got some breaking news from Melbourne. We're hearing new coronavirus numbers in Victoria. Let's cross straight to Sunrise correspondent Nathan Templeton. What can you tell us, Nathan? Now, these are extraordinary figures. It is being reported on online by news outlets and on radio that Victoria will record 81 new cases and 59 deaths. Now, to give that some context, the death toll uh, for the past couple of weeks has been either in single figures or in the teens. Uh, apart from Monday, when we had an anomaly, where there were 41 deaths, we were told that is because a number of deaths in aged care uh, hadn't been reported properly. Other deaths had been reclassified, so they had bundled all of those together to create that large figure of 41. Today, that number is 59. Now, the accusation is going to be that the state government is beginning to manipulate these numbers to suit the narrative of what the story of the day is. On Sunday, this much talked about roadmap is going to come out. It looks like lockdown will be continued and that the restrictions are going to be very tough, which is bad news for Victorians. No doubt, cynics will suggest that these huge numbers in debt death tolls are being placed on a particular day to set up the story for the weekend. That 81 cases and 59 deaths is what is being reported. So Nathan, just, just straighten this up for us. Are, there, are you saying that they're announced, you know, they're holding uh, numbers of deaths overnight, perhaps in aged care homes, back to release them in one, on one day so that the death toll looks higher than it perhaps is? Well, that we were told on Monday when 41 deaths were reported that this was going to be a one-off, an anomaly, because a number of aged care deaths hadn't been reported correctly. Some of those deaths were then reclassified and perhaps attributed to coronavirus, but they were all bundled together to be 41, so one particularly bad day. We were told by the Chief Health Officer, Brett Sutton, that that would be a one-off, but today the death toll is even higher, 59. Now, the state government, I doubt, will admit to this, but the accusation from cynics will absolutely be that these numbers are now being manipulated to suit the narrative and to suit the announcements that are coming up in the coming days. So there are a lot of allegations here. This is when what Brendan Murphy wrote to the nursing homes and said, make sure you release these numbers when some people died um, and they may have had corona, but they didn't die of corona. Those sort of technicalities, Nathan? Yeah, that's, that's the reclassification yeah. of some deaths. So there would be a lot of older people who have passed away. And now whether they were died from coronavirus or they died with it in their system, uh, that is where they get reclassified. But look, that is an extraordinary jump. Yesterday was 15 deaths. The day before was six. The day before that was five. So, you know, we've quadrupled the numbers in one day. 59 is easily the highest death toll uh, that we have had. So there's going to be a lot of questions for the Premier to answer and the Chief Health Officer about exactly how they were coming to these death toll figures. Nathan, mm. thank you for bringing us up to date with that. That makes me actually feel physically sick. If they are manipulating a death, that is horrific. Oh, completely. Yep. If that is the case, that a government is manipulating a death toll, something as serious as that, yeah just to suit policy. Wow. It, it's actually beyond comprehension yeah, in this country. And, and holding back those numbers until it suits them and the announcement that they, they want to make. Well, it's that's the allegation. So well, yeah. obviously the Premier's got a lot of, you know, questions to answer yeah. when he fronts that press that conference today. The most awful thing I've heard from this country for a long time. Okay, we're